Hello, it's Monday, and it's Unfinished Object Day, and guess what? Something has come out of the naughty chair and returned to my view of finishing. I, uh, that the Irish crochet has come out. I ripped it all back, but with good reason. Um, I got the brand new, oh, and I need to look for it here. I got the brand new edition of the Clones Lace book and read it. Even though I've read the old one, you know how sometimes you just like read something again for the millionth time and it sinks into your little brainy? Yeah, so I read the new clones book, which I will show you here in just a second. And it said in there that your clones knots should be on be one row out from your motif and that you do the clones row with the motifs not laid out. So I am going to pull these motifs off, but there's also a second reason and that is this little item because I forgot in its year, its months and almost years in, uh, in out of commission, sitting on rest, that David's mother made this for me last May to, so more than a year ago, to go as the centerpiece. The vision of where this clones lace doily was to go is on a table that I have, and actually it's sitting right behind me, so I'll show you that in a minute. I wanted this linen place piece to be the centerpiece so that I could put a vase on it, and then you would see the clones lace coming out from the center medallion. So that was the original plan of this lace. I made all the pieces based on this idea, so it seems like I should really get back to that. This is the table that I am making the doily for, and if I remember correctly, when I made my pieces, this table was empty, sitting in my living room, and I made a flower to go on each segment. So one, two, three, four, five, six segments. So there's to be a rose on each of those segments, and then um, leaves maybe in between. I don't know. I'm going to have to remember. I think I took a picture of it. So there you go. Now, this table was supposed to, in my head, go right here in the middle of my entryway. But since then, practicali practicalities arose, like shoe storage and a window frame that has not been finished, and bookshelves, and I mean, it would stand right here. I think it could still work. Maybe someday I'll get my table where I had it in my brain. But in the meantime, it lives right inside the front door, so just to the right of the front door. And in fact, it's scooted over a little bit, and it holds um, this that I just moved to the floor it sits on here with our keys of a variety and then a lamp because lighting is a difficulty in this room. I only have two lamps and then we turn on the dining room to get any kind of light in the living room at night. I had visions of a beautiful doily that hung over the sides, not finished <laughs> and not in use as its first initial intended purpose. But you know, things morph over time, right? Including this doily. All right, I'll see you. The new Clones Lace book, same cover. Clever, because I guess Kim picked this photo because she wanted the cover to be the same, but with Moira's, or Moi, Moi, Moira, I call her Moira, I don't know if it's right. With her older hands, because this is a reprint of, or a redo of the book, I'm a little concerned because it confused me. I thought I already had it, when in fact this is a reprint third edition. you got to pay attention to that little third edition and her hands there. Uh, we do have this book in the store, but this is the book. The big change in this book is, let me get to the diagrams, diagrams. So Kim at the Lace Museum has gone in and added 100 pages to this, to the patterns of this so that we can have an easier time crocheting the pieces. And she also really um, honed in on the um, uh, patterns to make sure any mistakes were not there. Now, I'm, I'm not going to hold her to that. I'm sure that there will be others. But wahoo, look at those diagrams. Aren't they awesome? So definitely, even if you have the first Clones Lace book, it's worth getting this one. If you don't have a Clones Lace book, look this one up. I will put the link to this new book in the info below if you're interested in Clones Lace. 
Now where we left off. Center rows, center rows around here. Everything's pinned in, although I've taken the pins off and I ripped back my clones joining stuff. What's going to happen instead is I'm going to go around each one of these, do the clones, the clones not row, right around the motif, put them down, repin them onto a pillow or piece of fabric. Oh, and let's flip this over. And then have this be the center. Six flowers go out, two leaves go out from that, and then the paisley designs go out on the very edge. So that is the new plan. I don't remember why I had a seventh, seventh flower, so I hope it's just extra. I hope, I hope. But um, that is the new plan of attack. Um, wish me luck. I may need a bigger blanket, even though I think, I think this guy's folded. I'm telling you what, this blanket was in my car accident, and I'm finding little bits of stuff on it, I'm pretty sure from the car accident, like little bits of wood, little bits of dirt here. See that? That is on my pillow, and that's what I found all over it. And I know it's not been anywhere dirty, so it's just from the force and the blow of the car hitting my car. Okay, so that's the plan. Going to go around each one and do a clones knot row with a teeny tiny crochet hook, which I have found. And uh, we'll proceed. In the next video on Thursday, I will have perfected that clones knot. And I'm going to show you how to do it, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, so that um, we are all better at joins and clones knots. All right, so that's all it, that's it for me. I want to get this uploaded early. I'm trying to be a more organized person. Can you tell? Um, clones knots, they're worth practicing on. Um, if you like the channel and you like the idea of unfinished objects, please subscribe. Um, there will definitely be little tips and tricks, like I'm about to show you how to do a clones knot, the bane of my existence, and the reason why this has sat for a year, because I was um, not secure at, with my ability to do this joinings piece on such a big object. My ultimate goal is to do at least a blouse, if not a dress, that is all clones. So um, it is worth doing. It's just getting ready and being brave enough to go forth. So um, leave me a comment. Do you guys, have any of you done Irish crochet, much less clones crochet? Um, let me know what your experiences, experiences are. I know I talked to Kim. I think we're going to do a Zoom call and maybe figure out my clones not problem. And um, I'll see you on Thursday with progress. I hope. Knock on, knock on air. <laughs> All right, goodbye.